Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseSteps.com. And believe it or not, it's already episode 14 of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by Theme Park Connection in Winter Garden, Florida. And Maple Leaf Tickets in Kissimmee, Florida, our official ticket agency. And so where did we go uh, last this past week was Fantasyland. Yes, we went back to Fantasyland. It had been a while since we uh, checked it out. I, I think. think July 17th. No, no, I, I think, uh, well, yeah, yeah, right. For the, uh, you're right, for the birthday. Disneyland's birthday. And uh, you can see the castle walls and the turrets. Yeah, the, that was a new new for us, the, these uh, turrets going up. It's starting to really look like you're entering in an enchanted forest, so it, to speak. Well, it's amazing because it's only a few months away until it opens. I think pass holder previews are in November. Oh, there's the nice the lights. The lights are on. You can Nobody's see home. <laughs> Yes, lights are on, nobody's home. And there is the former uh, Snow White Scary Adventure area being redone for the uh, meet and greet. And there's some more, um, well, the ca- the walls, but also lots of archways. They can't lots see of your archways. hands, you know. They, no, you, I, I'm hand, moving my she's hands. She's showing her hands, and the, <laughs> the, the viewers cannot see that. <laughs> and there's the oh, that, uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Right, and what I was trying to show in the video is what, what you see there, that steel is where the, the coaster tracks will be uh, will be set. I'm glad you know that because it just looks like a bunch of pipe to me. But you can see they're actually enclosing the building, which was new, right. was new for us. That was the big thing. And there's Beast Castle. Right, Beast Castle. And I thought this shot was kind of interesting interesting to show you know the actual size of the beast's castle i mean it's not a big castle at all so it's always interesting to see the workers around it and here is the little mermaid prince eric's would you say it's a no, it's not really a is it a castle i think it's considered a castle very but detailed the li- and the little mermaid much, uh, much detail building. More, much more detailed than the uh, california adventure version of this uh, right church. i mean this is a, a much more uh larger scale uh that's just kind of a ride that thing always reminds me of a cinnamon pastry. roll right and i i say this is foam from the ocean i at first thought it was i was like why would there be snow there not ice. snow foam foam from the that ocean that might I be say. true and uh just another angle of uh putting the roof over the seven dwarfs mine coaster tracks i thought i always think that stuff is interesting so we put it in I can't believe it'll be maybe till 2014 until we get to ride that. Yeah, yeah, but uh, good things come to those who wait. So and hopefully that's true. Gaston's Tavern and Bonjour Village Gifts. Yeah, I always get those two confused, but I think we're finally... I did for quite a while, but now now I know the difference. And you can see the lighting. They're working around the clock to get these things opened on schedule. And there is Gaston, and we had not <laughs> known he was there until... We found him standing uh, in the rain. Yeah, we, we both <laughs> spotted him at the same time. I know, we're, like, we're just Whoa. looking at, you know, just getting regular video, and it's you know, it was, Whoa, and do you see what I see? So it was very exciting for us. And, and you could see it was raining, but we didn't care. It was very, very cool. And you can see LeFou. Yes, LeFou. Underneath, Le underneath him. And originally, the uh, concept art showed Gaston with a gun. So it's interesting that now he's just holding his two kegs of... Nothing, uh, of no booze. Of non-alcoholic... Uh, <laughs> Soda. <laughs> of, uh, yes, of root beer, because Gaston is known for his uh, root, root beer, beer drinking. So, uh, But there's some nice stills that you took. You could see LeFou's... Uh, there's a close-up of him. It looks like there's wiring there, but in the first one it looked like there was like spaghetti pouring out of his nose. Yeah, I, I think you were right with the wiring. <laughs> and there's Imagineers, and this is a fountain... Uh, this is a fountain with the, with the Gaston and LeFou in front of the tavern. Very exciting. So Very that exciting. was that was an exciting time, and this was also new for us. It was not as exciting. Not quite as exciting. <laughs> and don't sully the good name of, of Dumbo. Dumbo. This is a, a Dumbo photo op. Yes, unlike the old photo op, though, this one is covered. So even if it's raining a little mm. bit or if it's very sunny, you are good to go. I just wonder if there was a way for guests who have wheelchairs and all to get up there because, it, you know, you see the stairs. Right, that's, well, you know, but the old way, they, they couldn't get up there either. So it's it's it would be easier for a wheelchair guest to do it because of the, the uh, handles and the railings. Mm. So... But that was new to us, and uh, that was our day at the Magic Kingdom. And we went to the Grand Floridian to join Friends for Tea. Yes, we uh, celebrated our good friend John's 39th, for real 39th, 39th? yes, 39th birthday. And uh, there's we 
decided to check out the DVC construction. Uh, there's quite a bit going on, including down here the beach pool bar, which will open. It should open on August 24th. And you also see the uh, play area. And I think what, what from what I was told, the play area is will going be, to be uh, Alice in Wonderland. It definitely themed. will be an Alice in Wonderland themed uh, play area. And also, uh, just for those who don't know, the Gasparilla Grilling Games will be closing on August 24th through December 17th. And I think this whole project will be opening next year, right? The yes, I, everything should be done in 2013. So there you go, more uh, more DVC updated news for you. We haven't done as much of that. So. <laughs> yeah, it's good to check it out. And of course... Another resort? Another resort to check out. We... Uh, got uh, tipped that they opened the Lion King section of the Art of Animation for cast testing. Right. Uh, Disney Res There's Rafiki. Disney Reservation Center uh, cast members get to do test days here. I had done that many years ago at the Animal Kingdom Lodge where, you know, I got picked to be able to stay there overnight before it opened. But it meant that they opened up the area so anybody can go and just check it out. And uh, so, of course, we did. And it was very, very interesting. There was a little girl who was so excited to see Rafiki, and she yelled, Stitch! And her mom had to correct her. Well, wasn't that because Lilo and Stitch was playing no, on the that was, big screen? No, it had been the previous night, but not. Oh, this happened during the day. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. And, and there's Mufasa. Almost all of the characters are well above your head. The only one that is not that I can think of is Rafiki, who has had some photo opportunities where guests are a little... Well, this will be more of a challenge. The, the kids will have to come up with some rope to pull themselves oh, like, scale up the scale uh, up to be riding on the back of Rafiki <laughs> there for the pictures. No, you mean Mufasa. Oh, Muf I'm sorry, Mufasa. <laughs> well, we, we talked. We actually saw somebody a guest getting on climb, to climb onto uh, the back of Rafiki to take a picture. So we, you know, we they don't like to sign. see that. Not good. You hate to see fences go around all this stuff. It's it's so nice the way it is. I lo look at this. I love that shot right there. I do too. The the log with uh, Timon, who does not have his grubs yet. Right. And there's uh, Simba and Pumbaa. And this shot was actually taken from one of the guest buildings. We had uh, somebody give us an impromptu little tour. And that was really nice. We got to see uh, one of not only the hallways, which we could have seen anyway, but inside one of the suites. And we'll be staying in, in a suite in just a few days. Yeah, I'm very, very excited about that. So nice surprise. Sometimes nice surprises happen when you go to Disney. And I thought the uh, the rooms will be my probably my second favorite behind uh, the cars the cars suite. And now we're taking a walk down the path to the elephant graveyard. And I think this is one of the biggest disappointments, unfortunately, of of the Art of Animation Resort. In that this is supposed to be a playground, but it it really well, isn't. it's a great playground. You just can't climb on it. <laughs> or really, there's play. a little there's a little tunnel, and and from what we understand, um, but we're not Disney the knows right. We're not the target audience. I think a slide would have been nice, you know, or something, or something, something for Anything. for kids to do. It, we we did watch it, and there was not a lot of uh, excitement among the the guests. All here. it is 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 you run through the tunnel. I mean, they have these really inviting, cool bones. But then you're not allowed to climb on them. And, and everybody is going to want to climb on them. So, But to me, I mean, we're adults without kids, so it doesn't really affect us. Right, it doesn't affect us, but I, I was expecting more of this. Right. And but, uh, uh, I like the hyenas. I like all of the characters um, that are through here. And uh, I think the location is, is what makes this resort. Because you're when the Little Mermaid section is done, you'll have a cool pool over there. And then you'll have the feature pool on the other side. Right. So, I think this is a, a great location. You're just steps away from uh, Animation Hall. There's Scar. Oh, there is Scar. And he looks menacing. Oh, not too menacing. Oh, he will. You can He's see, just a little do you, pussy Do you not cat. see his scar on the, uh, above his eye? That is a, his, that's where he gets his name there. Scar. We don't know how that <laughs> came to be. We can invent something, though. And there's Zazu on a mm -hmm. rock. Zazu, right. The rock looks rather clean, too, so Zazu is, is being well-behaved bird, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> this is the last of the characters. We've seen, I think, everybody now. Yeah, we've seen all the main characters, and now we're just walking around seeing some of the details. And every uh, section of the resort has these uh, fun facts about the films. And the notepad has Timon and Pumbaa. This particular section only has two of the notepads, the other one being Mufasa and Simba. And this uh, this section of the resort to me is, is the weakest as far as the other two that we've seen already have pools. Uh, the, the Nemo section has, uh, you know, the play areas. 
Uh, but it is beautifully landscaped, and we love all the Lion King characters. Yeah, I think it'll grow. I think it'll definitely grow on on me anyway, because I do love the characters. And I think it's just the lack of a pool. So, like I said earlier, I like that you can go to the other two pools easily. And here we are inside one of the hallways. Each uh, floor has different artwork as the elevator opens, and that's Simba. Yeah, I love the interior hallways, and I like this uh, new rug they have. Who could it be? It looks like a Pumbaa and a Timon and a Simba sort of walking around the hallways, and lo and behold, there they are. And uh, they're there on the log, just like outside. We were told there was hidden Mickeys in the carpets, but we did not find any. Yeah, we looked around, but we couldn't find those hidden Mickeys anywhere. And uh, here is a, all the lamps in there are leaves. And right now we're looking at the door of a suite. This is not a suite we've seen, uh, but we're looking forward to opening night and we will be able to share with you our suite. And while we were there, we noticed we could have a nice clear view of the Little Mermaid section. And we had a great, very, very good view. And we met some uh, some of the construction workers that were uh, <laughs> very friendly and kind of told us a little about the resort and some of the little things, the little, little uh, props that'll be there. So it was it was a very exciting. And there is Ariel, and she is still about half wrapped in, I don't know if it's plastic. I feel bad for Flounder. Flounder is fully. He could suffocate in that thing. <laughs> but uh, And we've seen them before. I don't remember. Uh, I believe kind of in the back of the resort, I had already seen them when they were fully wrapped. And I love these fish. This reminds me of the Under the Sea song from the movie and from the Voyage of the Little Mermaid at the at the Hollywood Studios, where they all surround her. And there's one of the fish isn't isn't quite done yet. The one that's uh, still on not, rope. Well, in colored or uncolored, it's all white. And look at the the detailing of the shell, and there the light posts seem to be. Uh, what would you say, masts Mast. from ships? And there's the flip and fins pool. It's going to be one of the two smaller pools. Uh, the cars is the other one. And we were told the, this one will be bigger than the cars pool. That's what one of the, the workers told me, anyway. Well, they're both. They're still going to be smaller than the main pool, which is the biggest pool on property. Correct. And uh, I think it looks great. It looks like those double as light poles. And are we going to see? Oh, there's King Triton. Yes. King Triton. And Anna. King Triton is actually 35 feet tall. Wow. I, I feel like we're doing the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. <laughs> yeah, they're going to put him on a float. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're mentioning their height. I'm, I'm impressed that you know that, though. And the, these are all standard rooms. There's going to be uh, 864 standard rooms. If you have a family of six, you're not going to be able to stay here without getting uh, in this section without getting two rooms where in the all the other sections are family suites. And there's the Ariel's little fork, which she thinks is a brush for her hair. And I believe Scuttle told her it was a dingle hopper from what I remember of the movie. And there is um, this gentleman is this worker is painting around the, uh, the, the chest, rock. the yeah, treasure the chest. Treasure chest. Yep. And there's another look at Ariel through the trees. And here is a very shiny Ursula. All that ocean water, apparently. And there's, uh, it looks like her face is still wrapped, though. When I took a close-up of it, maybe it had already been taken off. Do we not know the, uh, the I height? Don't, no, I don't know the Very height tall. Ursula. Ursula's Ursula pretty is pretty big. Tall. I don't think she's as big as King Triton. And I think that that podium thing there will be holding uh, Scuttle. Scuttle. That's Scuttle. what I thought. When you said it was probably a pedestal of some sort, I thought maybe Scuttle yeah, would be on we'll there. I think we'll see Scuttle coming in. So that was the Little Mermaid preview of the Little Mermaid section. And our travel partner is Fairy Godmother Travel. It's just fairygodmothertravel.com. Let them know that Mouse Step sent you, and they can answer any questions you have about Disney's Art of Animal resort and this is our vintage segment this week we're going to look at the grand floridian beach resort as it was originally called before uh we've seen the construction today of the dvc villas at the grand floridian and uh here's the monorail as it well not yet the, the monorail station the monorail quite as yet, it was but... going up these pictures were taken around 1987 the uh, grand floridian opened june of 88 so... and i i remember when nothing was there then i remember 
as the uh, as it was being built. Yeah, for the longest time, it was just that square green patch right. of nothingness waiting for something, and the something was the Grand Floridian. So just a brief look, and there is the finished product. It looks beautiful. It looks like the Del Coronado in San Diego, California. Which hope we, or hopefully, near San Diego. Yes, hopefully we can see again this year. That's another episode. Thanks for listening. And there's our sponsor, Steam Park Connection in Winter Garden, Florida. And Maple Leaf Tickets, our ticket agency. Thanks for listening. See you next week.